good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Film My Run on Zwift. My name is Stephen Cousins and we are broadcasting live on Facebook and on YouTube. While we're getting everything ready, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Live YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash film my run and also Twitter at film my run and the website is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time so sit back, relax, don't forget to drop me a ride on and watch me do all the hard work. <laughs> Hello, 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 hello. Hello. <laughs> Don't know what came over me then. Uh, Anthony Anderson says, uh, good evening, everyone. Hope you are all recovered. Amy says, hello. John Farrell says, hi. Good evening, Paul Haywood. Clive Finnemore, Sebastian, Tortoise, Tina Beard. Uh, who else is there? Don't know. Anyway, off we go. It's Bag That Badge. It is a Thursday evening. We all have football to watch very soon. So let's get this done. Nice to have Paul uh, uh, Deering running with us. I believe Paul Deering ran a marathon on Sunday. So it's very good of him to uh, get himself fit and ready for this run today. <laughs> Sebastian, hello. Uh, and uh, Tina says she's going to run at 10 kph for a bit and see how she goes. Uh, it's 6.7 kilometers, so if we go this speed, it'll take us around, what, 38 minutes? 38 minutes of jogging. Let's do that. Uh, this is the, uh, that's Amore route. Oh no! Uh, Daz, or Darren, says, uh, my E10i treadmill has just locked up. Just had to turn it off and on again. He says, I'll catch you up. <laughs> uh, Paul Deering is following my backside yet again. your favourite part of my anatomy, Paul. Oh no, I didn't say what's my favourite, I said it's your favourite part. <laughs> it's not what. Oh, for goodness sake. Voice to text fail. <laughs> Uh, we're all very jealous of Tortoise's headphones, which he got during a cycling event. And I meant to try and do that cycling event the other day, but I didn't get round to it. I think I got conned into doing something else. Tina says the 10k on Sunday was awful. Tina, you look like you were having loads of fun. You did absolutely fine, Tina. Well under an hour. That's absolutely fine. The only problem for Tina on Sunday was she had to get up so early. Anthony, don't believe a word of it. She had a great time and she was really good. Uh, right, let me just get these camera angles working. Oh, and I've also left the doors closed. I'm going to have to open the doors in a minute. My treadmill is squeaking a bit for some reason. Not entirely sure why that is. And we're three minutes in. Welcome to another exciting episode of Bag That Badge. Right, 
Right, the spin event is still running until the 21st of April for those headphones. Okay, I am going to I'm going to try and run one of those events as a bike and see if I can get those headphones. But Tina says she feels like she's new. Why do you feel like you're new, Tina? Don't look you, Tina. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. You walked, you walked right into that, Tina. Don't, don't complain at me and don't, don't give me that look. You walked right into that and you asked for it and there it is on the screen. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I've opened the doors now. Nice breeze coming in behind me. 6k to go. And we've got a nice little group of runners. Day is the Vats Amore. Oops. Hands up if you have never run this route before. Press your mind. Uh, 17 degrees in Amy's uh, pain cave. 18 degrees here, although uh, it might cool down a bit. <laughs> Thanks, Seb. Uh, yeah, 18 degrees in here. But now I've opened the doors, hopefully it might cool down a little bit. Uh, and uh, because we've got a little tightly bunched group, you can see the halo around me and the people next to me. So Tina, and I'm not sure who that is. Is it Daz? Might be Daz right next to me uh, in a blue, with a blue halo around him. Oh, wow. Tina's got an e-bike. Tina says, today I've been riding my new e-bike. What's it like, Tina? Is it nice? Uh, one kilometre done. With our little gang. Many of whom were at the Brighton Marathon on Sunday. Tina and Paul Deering and Amy Green. All in with us today. Daz and Tortoise and John Farrell also there. Clive Finnimore, Paul Haywood. Nice to have you guys with us, as always. And then other runners with us today. Laser Brian from Germany. Beringer from Spain. Uh, somebody else just gone off the screen who I can't see. Oh, Bauben Ben Speck from, from the USA. Hello to you guys. Somebody from Canada there. Colasanti from, from Italy. Hello to you. Right, Tina loves her new e-bike. Uh, Sebastian's been riding an e-bike for 15 years, he says. I've not thought about getting one yet. But uh, it's not uh, it's not impossible that I would get one. Do you know what? Today, I thought I'd love to do the Ride London event again, which is 100 miles around London and the Surrey Hills. I thought, do you know what? I'm going to enter Ride London this year. I looked on the website. There are still places available. Unfortunately, it's on the 26th of May, which is the last day of my Cape Wrath Ultra event in Scotland. So 
I won't be able to do it, which is really annoying. We'll just have to see if we can get it, get it in the diary for next year. Oh, okay, right. So Tina says that when they were in Brighton at the weekend for the Brighton 10K and the marathon, Tina and her friend Taryn rode the electric bikes that you can hire in Brighton around everywhere. And she says, so I had to have one. Very nice. Good for you. Uh, Paul Hayward says, you must be the talk of the village. <laughs> <laughs> what would these modern bikes they've got nowadays? Have you seen Tina down road? She's got one of those battery bikes. Those bikes what run on the electric. She's got one of those. That that is my best southwestern accent. Uh, Seth says, yeah, that was a fast decision to buy one of those, Tina. Would anyone like to do the Castle Crit route next week? Uh, John Farrell says, was that Jethro, Jethro Tull I heard? Well, that's, well, Jethro Tull is, is from the southwest, isn't he? <laughs> Jethro Tull is from the southwest, isn't he? Question mark. And not Jethro Tull, Jethro, I mean. Not Jethro Tull, that's a band, isn't it, stupid idiot? Getting confused between my rock bands and my comedians. Jethro is the comedian. Jethro Tull is the band. John Farrell is not talking about Jethro Tull. I have no idea what accent they have. <laughs> Is he dead? Is Jethro dead? Blimey. Oh, did you hear OJ Simpson died? OJ Simpson died today. Yes, getting my comedians and my rock bands confused. I just released a video this morning about Russ Cook and his adventure through Africa. Um, I've gone with the angle of the uh, World Runners Association claiming that Russ is not the first person to run the full entire length of Africa. So if you want to go and watch that, that is on the Film My Run channel now. And I'm wondering, do you think that I should try and get in touch with Russ and get him to come and run live on Zwift with us in the shed here? Because he obviously, as you know, as you may well know, he lives in Worthing. Um, so I could get in touch with him and, you know, maybe in a few weeks he could come and do a live stream with us and he could run on Zwift. Um, and uh, we could interview him as we run. Hashtag screens for Russ Cook. Uh, Amy says, yes, you should try that. Tina says, yes, you must. Okay, I'll give it, I'll, um, I'll try and find a contact details for him and see if he'd be interested in doing that in a 
in a few weeks' time. Two or three, four weeks, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. He's, uh, the, the thing is, at the moment, he is absolutely swamped, isn't he, with interviews. Uh, Tina says her legs are f- screaming at her. She's just been to the gym. Don't overdo it, Tina. Yeah, don't overdo it, Tina. If you need to slow down and relax, then do. So I might put the Castle Crit route on again next week because that's a popular one that a lot of people don't yet have. I am going to try again and get them to change the film My Run 500 back to 11.35. Oh, thank goodness somebody had the guts to say it. Full stop. Uh, so Tina's just said, I hate running. Sebastian says, I thought this too, Amy. Uh, I've just said, uh, thank goodness somebody had the guts to say it. <laughs> Why do we do it to ourselves? Question mark. Shall we all just give up and walk? Question mark. Tina's trying to channel her inner Amy. Uh, Amy says she's knackered. So uh, less than 4k to go now on the That's Amore route in Bag That Badge today. It's been quite a nice day outside today. It's a bit misty, very low cloud over Sussex today. Paul Hayward says summer starts tomorrow. But it's not cold by any means. 18 degrees inside the shed quarters, 67% humidity on the uh, Amy Green Memorial Thermometer. Uh, John Farrell got his grass cut today. <laughs> Paul Haywood says summer starts tomorrow and finishes on Sunday. <laughs> uh, Tina says it's lovely and sunny where she is today. That's because you've bought yourself an e-bike. It could be pouring with rain and in your heart it'd be lovely and sunny. It's always nice to get new stuff, isn't it? Uh, Anthony says I'm off to the Olympic Park on Saturday in the Aquatic Centre to watch uh, Super Try. Wow. And then on Sunday, he's got a 10k race. Oh, that sounds like a fantastic weekend, Anthony. Have a good one. Uh, We will be, well, first off, uh, we will be going to um, watch the start of the South Downs Way 50 race, which uh, starts just a mile or so from our house. So we'll be off there on Saturday morning to watch them do that. And then we come back and basically we've got to rip up all the carpets upstairs because we've got new carpets arriving next week. 
and we said we would get our carpets up by ourselves. Uh, Daz isn't feeling it today with the tech issues. No worries, Daz. That's fine. Sometimes it's just, you know, it's not a good day, is it? Sometimes. Don't worry. Uh, Tina's going to slow down as well. Well done, Tina. She's got, Tina's got no motivation for running because she's too excited to get back on her e-bike. As soon as we finish this, she is going out for another ride on her bike. She's like a teenager. To be honest, I would feel exactly the same. <laughs> uh, some more ultra running news. You know that petition that I created to try and get Jasmine Paris on the radar of the BBC Sports Personality of the Year shortlist. It has hit 10,000 signatures. So that, I think that is very good. So 10,000 signatures to get Jasmine Paris on the shortlist for um, Sports Personality of the Year. All right, Tina is not going to go back out on her bike. She's neat. She says she needs food and bed. Tina, we all need food and bed. That is basically the story of my life. Run, edit video, food, bed. <laughs> basically, you're talking about half of my life there, Tina. Okay, we're well over halfway now. We've done 3.4K. We've got 3.2 to do. To do. Yeah, only Jeff Partridge uh, didn't sign the petition. Uh, Tortoise signed it. Thank you, Tortoise. <laughs> but we all... Jeff's, Jeff's old and miserable. He did... <laughs> oh, you'll, you'll love me for saying that. Uh, Daz says it sh the, the petition shouldn't need any signatures. They should just select her for the list. It's quite obviously an amazing achievement for a human of any sex. Absolutely, Daz. Fully agree. But of course, we do have a very busy sporting year. So not only do we have Jasmine, of course, we've also just had Russ Cook. And I've noticed there's a petition to get Russ Cook as uh, Sports Personality of the Year as well. But we've also got the Olympics and we've got the Football European Championships as well. Uh, Tortoise, that is Russ Cook. The guy you're talking about is Russ Cook, who lives in Worthing. He's the guy I was suggesting I get to come and run with us on the treadmill. Anthony, I will make sure that the BBC know who she is. Yeah, Russ Cook is the guy who has just finished running across Africa and he is from my hometown. I've just released the video about him today on the Film My Run channel. Go and check that out. Yeah, but I'm suggesting I try and contact him and get him to come to the house and, <laughs> and run on the treadmill with me and we'll do a Zwift event, Run With Russ Cook. Uh, Tortoise says you'll teach him your doggy paddle run style. <laughs> Hang on a minute, you're not Jonathan Cost in disguise, are you? <laughs> I know Daz, but <laughs> what are you going to do?
Uh, lovely, just running down here with the mountain in the distance and the sea in front of us. Do you know what? I can't, I can't remember seeing that view very often. I don't know why. Because we are, we are on some pretty old roads here. Maybe I don't run this direction down the old roads very often. But that is a lovely view down there to the sea. It's the other way around now, but... Four kilometres done. Uh, Paul Hayward says he's got a friend at work who is running across the Sahara. That's pretty amazing as well. Right, Sebastian says happy birthday to Tortoise. Tortoise, is it your birthday today? We all have to guess how old Tortoise is. I'm going with 73. How old is Tortoise? At the weekend, okay. So Tortoise's birthday was at the weekend. 25 minutes gone, two and a half K to go. Everyone's now saying happy birthday, Tortoise. because nobody knows Tortoise's real name. We all think it's somebody in disguise who we actually know. John Fowler says Tortoises can live for hundreds of years. Amy Green says, I was okay yesterday, but got nothing in the tank today. Uh, Tortoise has already given away his age. 36, well, I was close with 73. It had a three in it. Uh, Clive has seven tortoises in the Zwift garage. I hope they're not on the treadmill with you, Clive. Uh, John Farrell is nearly 36. Although, you know, the other side of it. He's trying to go backwards to get to 36. Uh, Tina Beard's HRV is low and has been for a week now. What's my HRV? Let me have a look. Yeah, my HRV is all right, actually. Balanced. 51 milliseconds today. And balanced. So that's good. Always good to have a balanced HRV. Last night, my HRV was 49 milliseconds. 51 is my seven day average. So 51 milliseconds, seven day average. So for me, that's perfectly okay. And I must say, I feel fine. Yeah, Tina says low HRV, that's why I'm so knackered. Oh no, Daz. Daz says another lockup on the treadmill. I surrender, he says need to do some fault finding yeah get in touch with Stefan as well and let him know about that Kai Finnemore's HRV is just on the edge of the unbalanced uh, Daz says enjoy the rest of the run everyone thanks Daz see you later I'm sorry for all your problems today well done Darren and unlucky with the tech issues Well done, Darren. And unlucky with the tech issues. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, Amy says, I need to carb load tomorrow if I'm going to be running fast tomorrow. What are you doing tomorrow, Amy? Anthony Anderson says, my HRV is unbalanced. 
Uh, Tlautus says, uh, bless you, Daz. Well done. Yeah, unlucky, Daz. It does happen to all of us occasionally. So what fast running are you doing tomorrow, Amy? I'm not running fast tomorrow, I don't think. Am I? Am I supposed to be running fast tomorrow? Why is it Friday? No, it's recovery. It's, um, it's the um, ZLDR recovery hour, isn't it? On Friday. That's what I'm doing. Are you doing interval session or something tomorrow, Amy? Paul Hayward says, Tortoise is in a world of his own with those headphones out the front there. He's two seconds up on all of us. And we're just all hitting 5K now. Um, when is the 5K then? Is it coming up? Hang on a minute. Oh, it's not tomorrow. I don't think the 5K is tomorrow. No, it's not tomorrow. Yeah, fast as you can 5K is on Saturday at seven o'clock. So we can take it nice and easy tomorrow and then we go as fast as we can on Saturday. Tortoise, it's fine. I know obviously you're listening to music and your headphones, you know, it just takes you into another world and you just wander off ahead. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> Uh, John Farrell, very good. Paul Hayward, you should have said this joke. This is a very Paul Hayward thing to say. Uh, Tortoise apparently says John Farrell has gone into his shell. <laughs> I said, I said, Tortoise, you, you're in, you're listening to music in your. Oh, he can't, can't hear me, can he? Can't hear a word I'm saying. Uh, Tina's done. Well done, Tina. Food and bed, Tina. Uh, Tina's not going to run fast tomorrow. Uh, sorry, on Saturday, she's got no energy. And she fully intends to do a nice slow park run. Good for you, Tina. Do not forget the fast as you can 5k on Saturday at 7 p.m. UK time. Have you got a lock for your e-bike? Make sure it doesn't get nicked.
Uh, Sebastian says he's in his pyjamas by 8 o'clock, uh, which of course is uh, 7 o'clock UK time. It's 8 o'clock Central European time. Sebastian's in Berlin. So uh, he'll be in his pyjamas ready for bed. <laughs> Fair enough. And we have one kilometre remaining. <sighs> Tina, is an e-bike easy enough to cycle when the battery is dead? So if you run out of battery, can you still cycle home? as easy as if you were on a normal bike. Sebastian, you could probably answer that question as well. <sighs> Tina only has 89 XP remaining until she gets her next reward. It'll be interesting to see what your next reward is, Tina. 35 minutes gone. We've got about three minutes to go. Three or four minutes to go. And then I'm going to watch football. Okay, right. Tina says e-bikes are very heavy when they ha have no battery power left. Okay, so that's not so good then. So you do need to make sure that you don't run out of battery power then. And that is six kilometers done. So just a few hundred meters left. So how long does the battery last for on one of those then? Can you go like 20 miles? Or is it more about how long you're out, not, not how fast? Yeah, I mean, well, you explain. How, how far can you go or how long in terms of time can you go? Right, so Sebastian says on his, you can go 100 kilometers on one charge of, ba I assume one charge of battery. That is, that's very good. Okay, I understand. So you're not really going to run out of battery on an everyday normal ride, are you? And Tina says she's got no idea yet. Of course, she only got the bike yesterday, so. <laughs> Paul Hayward says, is that on the flat? Yeah, I guess if you're going uphill, it will move. It will use more battery power to go uphill because it's pushing harder. Thank you so much, everyone, for today. Hopefully, we'll see some of you tomorrow at the ZLDR Recovery Hour. Amy Green is shattered. She says, well done, everyone. <sighs> D 
Take care, everyone. Have a lovely evening or day, wherever you are in the world. Just managed to drop all the ride-ons in time. Well done, everybody. Uh, Anthony says the battery is there as an assist to your pedaling. Yeah, but apparent. But you. But so what Tina is saying is that if you if you do run out of battery power, it's very tough to ride without the battery power so the, the bike is very heavy without it apparently having never ridden one I, i've no idea anyway that's it for the evening um i'm off gonna have another shower second shower of the day i am very clean <laughs> um and uh, we'll be back tomorrow to run the zldr recovery hour so that'll be fun. Haven't done one of them for a while because we've been doing our 90-minute um, uh, Brighton, Brighton Marathon training runs. Uh, Anthony says, I rode an electric bike in France a couple of years ago. Great going up the mountains. Uh, Tina says, mine does full electric, but probably dies in minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, we're done here. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for, for watching. Well done if you took part today. Nice, easy, relaxed run. Average heart rate around about 125, I would have thought. 126 for me today. So that's kind of nice. Zone two. Nice and easy. And we'll be back tomorrow for another nice, easy run. We'll do uh, an hour with the ZLDR lot. Um, and then Saturday, um, if you have time... Uh, join us at 7 p.m. because we're going to run a 5k as fast as we can. So I'll try and do 20 minutes uh, 5k uh, tomorrow, uh, Saturday, for the fast as you can fight, uh, fast as you can 5k at 7 p.m. UK time. That is 8 p.m. Central European time. Quite late if you're over in Europe, but I hope you don't mind that. And we'll see you then. Take care, everyone. Have a great evening or great rest of your day, whatever you're doing. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.